Vitaio vas. That's greetings in Ukrainian. My name is Matthew Kupfer. I'm a staff reporter at the Kiev Post, and this is our Newsy vlog. In case you were too busy to follow our website or our print edition this week, here's the latest news from Ukraine. <laughs> At least 14 sailors have died after an explosion set fire to two ships docked near the shore of Crimea, which Russia has occupied since 2014. The explosion occurred on January 21st as the ships Candy and Maestro, which sail under Tanzanian flags, were engaged in a dangerous ship-to-ship -ship transfer of liquid petroleum gas in shallow, rough waters near the Kerch Strait. They also reportedly had their tracking devices turned off. Why would they do that? Well, according to the U.S. Department of Treasury, the ships have been involved in transporting secretly fuel between Iran, Russia, and Syria in defiance of sanctions. And to just tell you how much fuel was involved, the ships burned until January 23rd. That's over two days. And now from the presidential campaign trail, in news that surprises absolutely no one, the Batkivshina party has nominated ex-Prime Minister Yulia Tymoshenko to be its presidential candidate. No surprise, because Tymoshenko is the leader of the party and also the frontrunner in the presidential polls. But there were some other surprising events at the convention. It featured a video endorsement from former Georgian president, former Odessa region governor, former Ukrainian citizen, and former Georgian citizen Mikhail Saakashvili. There was also a surprise video of Brazilian author Paulo Coelho speaking highly of Tymoshenko. The author of The Alchemist was extremely popular in Ukraine in the 2000s, along with striped tracksuits and the band Tanok na Maidanie Kongho. Striped tracksuits never go out of style. Later, however, Coelho tweeted that the video was not an endorsement, which was likely very awkward for Tymoshenko. And popular actor and comedian turned presidential candidate Volodymyr Zelensky has faced his first scandal. Journalists from RFERL's Schemes Investigative Unit discovered that he has not closed his filmmaking business in Russia, despite saying that he had. So, on January 23rd, on Instagram, Zelensky waved a document at his followers and announced that he had left the Cypriot company that owns the Russian business. Finally, this past week was the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Many of the Ukrainian elite were there, but one man stood out, Igor Shevchenko, the former ecology minister of Ukraine. There, he discovered a vending machine where you can get a free knit cap if you forgot your own at home. One question, what if it wasn't technically a vending machine? It was like a box with a hole in it. There he discovered a box of free knit caps where you can take one if you forgot your own at home. But Shevchenko didn't take one hat, he took many hats. Then a security guard arrived and nearly arrested him, Shevchenko wrote on Facebook. But Shevchenko prevailed and he managed to convince the security guard to look the other way. Needless to say, social media had a lot of fun here. When the hats are free, you can sell them once you get home, one Facebook user wrote. We already had a hat thief as a president, another added. It ended badly. That's it for me. Keep your eyes on the Kiev Post for the latest news from Ukraine and beyond. And see you next week. <laughs>